see. Good morning, fam. Welcome back. Welcome back to our next Vlogmas episode. I hear what you fam. So I made breakfast for those girls this morning and I gave them pressure to eat their breakfast. Especially Nai Nai. They got cheese paste and bread. He's drinking a hot cup of tea. What are you drinking this morning, babe? Lipton? What flavor? Lemon and ginger, she said. Jill is pretending to eat now because she's on camera. Raya is playing the fool. She hasn't eaten eat her breakfast as yet. And I'm trying to get them to eat. And all it's very hard to figure out what Naraya likes and don't like because one day she eats and the next day she God God knows. But today for today's Vlogmas episode, I'm here to make <laughs> I do apologize, I lost the footage with the ingredients. Here we have vermicelli noodles, you can also use Singapore noodles, boneless chicken breast, garlic, pimento, onion. So step one, pull your pot, you want a good size pot, not too big, not too small. Reason being is this type of noodles cook really fast, so what you want to do is bring your water to a boil first. Cut up all veggies. Daddy. Daddy. I need here. So my water was now boiling and I just added a little more because I find the water level was a little low. So all I'm going to do is place it in the pot now. You could actually just throw it into the pot. Just so. Yep, you see that? And I'm going to add half back of the next pack now. Alright, and this is where it gets tricky. At this point in time, I would like for you to stay over your pot because as you all see that, the noodles is no longer hard. It's already, let's say, one to cook. This actually cooks in less than two minutes once your water is boiling. So you want to halfway cook it before you strain it. Got to take out the main ingredients, you guys, which is soy sauce, right? You can't make this without soy sauce. How could I forget that, right? Back to the pot. Watch only, watch how much that cook already just to that walk today, right? You'll see in that. I don't know. Let me see if I can lock in and focus. I don't know what is steam hit it, but yeah it's almost time to strain her that is why i told nish anytime she has to make this she cannot move from by the stove this noodles is so thin that it cooks so fast let me get my strainer and place it in the sink 
because yeah that's <laughs> that's about it y'all that's about it i also have to put the chicken on the fire now so let me organize that because this is actually my lunch for work today so yeah seeing that and if you want you could break off a little piece to taste Ooh. it's hard to get one piece by itself due to the fact that the noodles is so small just strain here, you all can see. I'm going to run some water on it now to cool it down. Yep. And I said the noodles actually cooking, I think it's less than two minutes, like about two a minute and 45 seconds. Yeah, I want it cool. Yeah, a minute and about 45 seconds, babe. It's something that cooks you really fast. So you all see the texture of it there? Yeah. So this is a pack and a half here. So that is so I could have lunch, the girls could have lunch, Nish could have lunch. What I normally do for my chicken is I either fry it normal or with flour as my butter. I'm putting about two to three spoons of flour in a plate. I'm adding my all-purpose seasoning, my chief, my cornstarch, my ginger powder, everything to this and mix it as one. Alright, so I have all everything here and now I'm just going to sprinkle my cornstarch. A box of cornstarch normally costs around $12. So, this is what I've been using most times when I'm frying my chicken and thing. Just sprinkling some and mixing in everything. So I'm going to mix in everything, you could use your spoon, you could use your hand, I'm going to use my hand because I'm just keeping it real with y'all. <laughs> um, also the chicken that I have is also seasoned the same way, salt, black pepper, shadow belly, side, pimento, garlic, chief, lord of mercy, jira, cayenne pepper, lime, um, some kind of lime seasoning as well. So yeah, everything is fully seasoned. On the stove here, I have the frying pan on. I'm going to throw some oil in it. So I don't want too much oil because I'm not deep frying mine. I'm turning the chicken into here now. Mixing in everything. Yeah, y'all. So this is actually one chicken breast and this will actually be enough for Nish and I. So yeah, just mixing in all the butter here, mixing in all the butter. I had a pack what didn't have so much green seasoning on it, but I didn't want it to go and dig up the deep freeze too much, so I just pick up this one on top because I actually have the um, freezer package out with different types of meat, boneless and bone. Like this is one piece of bone, so I don't know how this got into this, but everything else here is boneless. And just going to stir the oil in the pot and throw everything in for the light here. Here we go, everything is in the pot. Right. Flipping over some of these pieces just now there. Should be going outside. Alright, so I now flip over everything here. Look how the meat is coming out. This is how it's looking. So you all see in that. And you could try it how dark you want, but it really don't matter if it's dark or light. Because when you put the sauce on it, you will be able to tell honestly and truly. And all here. If you eat it as fried chicken alone, that will be so amazing as well. Mommy spam here. Go by mommy. Tell she's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she feels. Let's check and see which ones are done and coming out of the pot now. Because you know the smaller pieces will finish first. Mm-hmm. 
And basically it's like the same technique if you want to make popcorn chicken as well I want yeah? Same technique if you want to make some popcorn chicken Alright so this is the completed chicken here I'm going to put this aside while I'm working on the noodles now Time to take down the wok Alright Give the wok a wash out Alright onion and garlic in the pot first Turn in the others now yeah. Can't find my wooden spoon at all at the moment. Maybe there's a good Just one with it and like one of them decide to hide it. So yeah. So this is your the, the flavor all here. They don't have no seasoning in this pot and if all you know when you put garlic and onion in a pot with oil how it does smell or you know what going on in this pot. It's flavor, right? And we're going to throw in our noodles now. Don't worry, the yellow hard that is okay. We're using a spoon and we're separating it and we're mixing in everything, right? You all see that? Look at that. And make sure and have your shredded garlic or your yeah, make sure the garlic so you make sure and have your shredded ginger or your ginger powder to throw on top of your noodles as well, right? If you want, you can add maggi. When I'm making this, I actually prefer to use the chief. Sometimes I do use the maggi. So, all you see what's going on here, right? All you know is the next step. Next step. Add in your soya sauce. This is the low sodium soya sauce that I'm using still. I didn't use any from the um, extra food grocery haul when you also we got three bottles for $20 with this special. They got the ginger and two other flavors. Yeah, we ain't open that as yet. So all you will see it's starting to take form and color now, right? So I just shake some ginger now and put in it cheap. For those who want to make this at home, don't worry, it's actually not an expensive dish to make. This noodles cost around $4 for the small pack, and the family pack is around $13. So yeah, it's not an expensive dish. And you could use whatever type of chicken you want, because there's times I make this with chicken wings as well. Or even leg and thigh cut up finish. So it is really and truly a simple recipe. You all seen how everything came out there. The last step now, three spoon of ketchup. Mm -hmm. Three spoon of vinegar. We're going to stir this in and mix it now. And then one spoon of soy sauce we starting off with. And we're mixing everything in. A spoon of sugar. You add in how much sugar you want to, what level of sweetness you like. So if you want to add one or two, it's optional. That in for about a minute and you could put it in a pot with oil well a tip of oil and mix everything in or you could just mix it in normal it's optional I normally just add everything to a pot if you have any honey as well you could put in a tip of honey if you like but that's it for the sweet and sour sauce if you're making a big batch you could try putting six scoops of ketchup six scoops of vinegar and two scoops of soy sauce and sugar to taste so you're just doubling the ingredients depending on the size of the batch that you want I'm going to add the chicken to the pot now so yeah take your time and add stir this is really a recipe that initially enjoyed I made it some months ago for Nish mom as well and she was like Jacob you bastard and everything boy and to be honest with you the only one I didn't get right as yet is the bygone one as soon as i figure out the bygone one i will share that with you and for those who are wondering how are we going to make this spicy well you could slice up whatever pepper you have fine and sprinkle it in the pot or even add some pepper sauce to your sauce all according to what you have and what you prefer because you all tell you all know i tell you make use of whatever you have 
um, I will not be adding any pepper to it because the girls have to eat but I could always add some pepper sauce to my bowl after so this is my simple taka recipe and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you tomorrow for next vlogmas episode